Hey everyone, Daywalker Entertainment, aka Chris Shogun, he back with another figure review. And it's on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Rhino Wave Craven. Now, I understand this is a pretty old figure. I shouldn't say it's old, but it was already released, like, I believe in 2015 or 2014. Or actually, no, it was released in 2015. This figure was released last year. And I understand a lot of you people have already reviewed this figure. And a lot of others saw the review of said figure. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But anyway. For those who haven't seen the review of this guy. Oh what am I saying? You guys have already seen a bunch of reviews of this guy already. But I thought I'd make my own. But anyway. Here's Craven. Now I did pass on this figure a lot which was a big mistake since this is actually a great figure <laughs> I really like it one problem though the eyes on mine look like they're a bit he's it looks like he's a bit cross-eyed but on some angles but at other angles it looks like he's looking forward I don't know and his mustache on the on the left here looks to be mispainted but that's just me. I don't know. I don't know. It might be just me. It might be true. I'm not sure. But anyway, now for accessories, he comes with the uh, the uh, right leg of Rhino as well as the spear. Not bad looking. I do like the shading on the feathers. Now I believe the spear head is supposed to be silver. It looks bronze. I'm not sure if this is supposed to look silver or not. But uh, oh well, and he can grip it with two hands, really nicely. Now, uh, I wish he came with more though. Like, I wish he came with like a machete, or at least a knife. Sadly, he doesn't come with him. Though not a bad figure. Sourcing it out of the way. I don't know why I passed on this guy. It's really, it's really cool. I do like the detail on the skulls. Really nice. The lion mane jacket, whatever you call it, does look interesting. And the necklace is a zipper piece from here. All I can say is I'm really happy with this guy. Now he's not perfect though. Like with other figures, not everything's perfect. There is some paint flaws here. I don't know if this is a paint flaw on his hand or if it's intentional. I have been scratching at it. And you know what? I think it is a paint flaw. Because it's kind of coming off. Though I'm not sure if it is or not. But, eh, oh well. Now, the uh, vest here. The belt and the necklace are separate pieces, so you could take them off. I'm not gonna do that because, well, I don't I don't like undressing my figures. But anyway, I like this figure. I should have never passed on it when I first saw it. But yeah. Anyway, for articulation, his head can. Fully rotate though it's a bit hindered by the uh, the mane here on this vest, lion head vest. That's what I'm gonna call it, lion head vest. He can look up, he can look down. He has a bit of a pivot, nice. His arms can move out to the side. Now, not it doesn't move out to the side that bad actually. I mean, on this arm it moves out fine. On this arm, though, it's really, really tight. I don't know why it's tighter than the other one. You can see, oh, when I turn around, this arm is actually more straighter than this one. I don't know why that it is. I don't know why it's like that. I don't get it. 
But anyway, he has a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows. His wrists can fully rotate and they can move back and forth. His, he has an ab crunch that ratchets. Really nice. He also has a waist joint. His legs can move out to the side that far. They can move forward that, that far as well. They can't really move back though. He can rotate the thigh. He has double jointed knee. And his, his calf can rotate. And his feet can move forward and back. And he has an ankle pivot. Now on mine, when I opened it, the feet were like this. But it could barely move up. So I just turn them around like so. They can move up a bit more. So yeah. Not a bad figure. It would though he would have been good enough if he came with a bit more accessories. And you know, if he didn't have those flaws that I mentioned. But still, not bad. I'm happy with this guy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time.